make you know Ninja songs, old school or new school, stand a chance to win big on Gusto Gesto song. To be a part of this, call the numbers on your screen right now. Come on board and let's do things the Gusto way. Hello guys, welcome to Gusto Reaction once again. Thank you so much for always liking, sharing, subscribing, of course, telling your friends about what we do right at Gusto TV. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We cannot thank you enough. Big Lala is very much right here today. And of course, we've got two very big ladies in the building today. Of course, Big Thames and Big Tiwa. Of course, Mama Jam Jam in the building today. Of course, Tiwa Sabe, the major, major, major superstar has seen it all. Uh, and uh, we can say that uh, this lady right here has done it for years. You know, basically don't blow, don't re-blow. And of course, you know, big record labels, moving records and the rest of them. Mm -hmm. And we cannot, you know, uh, overemphasize her role, you know, what she's done for, you know, the Afrobeat, uh, you know, in general and everything. Same as well, you know, ever since 2019 with damages and, uh, you know, try me and all of that has been doing a thing. But what exactly is you know come to the both of them right now it's still dropped that ep uh some weeks ago i won water and gary featured mm -hmm. nas featured you know my ray yeah. uh, and of course a couple of other people brandy as well on that one some of this song that one is still very much buzzing yeah teams as well dropped you know that one if already was a place mm -hmm. and uh i'm looking at what both of them you know <clears throat> have dropped five tracks for tiwa survey five tracks for teams as well and i don't know what would be your pick if you are to pick either of this project well 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 i mean having listened to both projects yeah, i mean amazing projects yeah. okay having listened to both projects yeah <laughs> i think it's it's clear for me i mean based on how i've rated these two projects yeah that i think i, I would lean towards a water and gary more Okay. Uh, before I lean towards a if orange was a place uh, project. Okay. And what criteria would you be uh, using? What yardstick? Knowing fully well that you know, you know, one of them could be turning towards the international market, and why one could be turning towards Nigeria and everything. I don't know. Not necessarily. I think both had had these perhaps similar goals. Mm. Um, appeal to fans locally and internationally. It wasn't like uh, Tiwa Savage Water and Gary was. I mean, she started her promo from playing it to the likes of uh, what's his name, Pharrell, Pharrell, <clears throat> and Pharrell. playing to those guys. And they, I mean, that was that was the aim for us. So it wasn't mm -hmm. like they both had the they, they they both had separate ways they, they were going. What mm -hmm. uh, Tiwa Savage has that is different is the fact that I mean there was a mixture, there was a mix and match. Even when she was going to feature a brandy. She featured a brandy in a sort of way that it would sound Afro beats, Afro pop like mm. you get. She didn't feature and then decided, okay, let's let me go and do a, a vocal gymnastic mm -hmm. with brandy. Now she didn't she didn't do it do that in mind on so she mm -hmm. wants to do R and B. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference. That's the difference. Uh but the first track, if I remember correctly, the, the track with, with Nas, mm -hmm. it was it was a very, very slow track. It was mm. a soulful track. And those kind of track is something what terms would, would want to do so it wasn't a obviously that track had nothing about nigeria in mind mm. at all Sa same way a lot of the songs on uh terms uh, work father didn't have a lot of things in mind mm -hmm. but uh she was able to come correct on some other tracks mm -hmm. for the nigerian audience she had a mixture of both mm. i mean featuring a brandy is already a, is already and trying to sound like I mean, get an international audience. People who like yeah. band, you say, oh, what's, who is this person that featured band? I will yeah. listen. Even nice as well. And even nice. And they will, they will enjoy what they listen to. Mm -hmm. They would enjoy what they listen to. So I think I'll go with the Water Gary before I go with the, with the If I Win Knows the Place because I think I enjoyed some tracks on there better than I did on this. Okay. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, people, would, would you say that in terms of overall quality and all of that, you know, looking at, uh, you know, when you want to compare, you know, EPs, you look at different criteria, different factors and everything. If we put all those points together, you know, all those points align everything, would you say this beats this in all the areas? Well, it's, it's, it's difficult because they, they as, as much as 
there are both EPs and mm. from females who are who would say, oh, they're sort of like almost R and B or R and B artists. Mm. Let's just say they're R and B artists. Yeah. But the way the both project sounds are totally different. They're totally different. I mean, there was still some Afro pop, Afro R and B on this on one. This one. Mm. So this has the hedge. I mean, for me locally, but in terms of overall quality, they're both great singers. Uh, in terms of productions, yeah. production of this, like I said before, was had things from it looked like they were from the nineties, nineties R and B, and that's what they went for. It's not like Guilty Beat and uh, who's the other guy? Christian. Christian. Okay, I don't know about the Christian guy, but it's not like Guilty Beat is a bad producer. Mm. Guilty Beat have been producing for times before. And he's giving us different kind of vibes with terms. Oh, yeah. So I think it's just the, di- the direction they went on this that's mm-hmm. not that's not aligning with me mm. per se. It's not aligning. It's not aligning with me per se. Apart from crazy things, there's no other song I'm going to pick. Uh, apart from crazy things, and maybe perhaps we play. I would say, oh, let me just listen to this song again and enjoy listening to it. Mm-hmm. You get mm-hmm. the other ones, not like that. People would feel them for yeah, sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, uh, no, nah, they're, they're not my cup of tea. Uh, on Tiwa Savage as well, mm. uh, what uh, somebody son, I saw. That, I mean, that one instant potential hit, yeah, instant hit for me. Very relatable mm. song that you, you would enjoy. Exactly. Um, the other song, Walk Father, was sounded like they were doing all these people that, that do was long sp- as well. spoken word was long. <laughs> or six, poetry. Over six minutes. Yeah, that was long as well. So, mm-hmm. and then the other, uh, what's it called? That DOV mm-hmm. was decent. And then there was one with the one with Amari too. She was trying to sound like Amari. Yeah. It's not like both of them are particularly great. If I'm going to be honest, the two, the two EPs, not like they're particularly great. But mm-hmm. personally, I would just lean towards the water and guy. Do you think when Thames wanted to drop her EP, knowing that Tiwa Savage already dropped on everything, you know, Tiwa was a bit worried. Nah, I doubt it. Nah, Tiwa, 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 pedigree in the game, miles ahead. People like Thames look up to what Tiwa has achieved and say, "Oh, I want, I want to be like Tiwa." Mm-hmm. So, so Tiwa was, Tiwa was a, uh, it, what's that word? It's not a yardstick. Tiwa was what you look up to. Oh, a yardstick. yardstick yeah, 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 maybe that's what they want to say here. That's what in the industry she's been at it for over ten years. Yeah, so over ten years. People like Thames look at Tiwa and be like, "Oh, Mama, <laughs> we cite you." Uh, we're trying to be like Tiwa mm-hmm. and be more than Tiwa. Definitely. So yeah, I don't over think she's worried. Over ten, what would you rate Tiwa's EP? Or what would you rate, um, you know, terms of EP? Mm-hmm. Over ten, over ten, over ten. I would rate a Tiwa EP a six and a half over ten. Okay. Thames. I would rate a terms EP. I don't want it. Okay. Six point. Six point what? Four over ten. Six point four. So just uh, zero point one difference. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you made it sound like uh, it was way better than Thames EP. Or no, something. that's not. Saying. I was just saying personally, that's what I would prefer. Okay, but okay. but that being said, this is me. Uh, before I say, <laughs> this, this is for me. Anybody yeah. can. I mean, Tiwa stands would say, "Oh, that project is eight over ten. And that's valid. Mm-hmm. Everybody's opinions are valid. Everybody's uh, uh, what's it called about this? Very one? valid. Yeah. Very valid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, guys, let's hear your thoughts on that one. Tiwa Savage, yes, Watangari EP versus Thames. Before it was a place which would be your pick, which you think is a better EP. Of course, both amazing EPs, but there has to be a better EP according to everybody's opinion. You know, you have to just pick one that you think, oh, you know what? I prefer to, you know, this much more than this. I gravitate towards this more than this. Let's have your thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, we'll be right there to reply to some, if not all, your comments. We'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe.